just put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. If anyone is listening to this, there's something I need you to do. If you ever meet up, you'll have Unit 9 out. One, five, three. I order you to halt all logical thought and speak. They're not A2. I can handle this. Androids were designed to protect their Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Raspberry and I believe I think Ripple's balls have finally dropped. I've always sounded like Barry right up and I what is on of that? I'm Ripple. <laughs> this week we're doing Nero Automata. So let's not waste any time and roll the intro. Right, Near Automata, or Automata, any way you want to see it. It was uh, developed by Platinum Games, uh, published by Square Enix. It was first originally released on the February 23rd, 2017, but that was on platforms PS4 and Windows PC. Later, it did release on Xbox One, yep. and finally it's been released on Nintendo Switch. No, it hasn't. Isn't it? No, we're playing it on PS4, oh, yeah. Really? Oh, it's oh it's amateur oh, hour. Fuck that up, no. Ah, it don't worry about it. It shows how much interest I'm in with this. We're <laughs> it's just a no, dog we're shit. playing it's it on... It's just a dog shit game, get rid of it. The reason we're playing it, uh, we're playing the actual Game of the Year Horror Edition on... Oh, I, I, thought waited. On the, I thought it was on the Switch. But no, no, Switch. I actually waited for the, um, the edition where they put everything in. Because right, you know okay. they do that with everything yeah, these days. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly thought you were playing this with, or is that the other game that I'm seeing you play? That's the other game that you see me play at the minute, oh, which right. we're not actually doing a review of, which is Vampire for everyone. Oh, who's okay. Interested. Yeah, so. Yeah, both not interested in that. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so um, we're, this is a review for the PS4 copy of this. So, um, so can I clarify? Yes. It's not out on the Switch. No, it's not out on the Switch. But I read that I they are bringing it to the Switch. No, they said that. If they get enough outcry for it, they would. But oh, they right, say that about okay. a lot of stuff. I mean, I wish they would. Obviously, same partnership with Astral Chain, is that correct? Platinum Games, actually, yeah. They, they made the Astral Chain, yeah, same. Thing. Right, okay, so obviously they may, may, they may bring it to the to the front in the future. I'd buy it, if they okay. did, obviously. No worries. Uh, yeah, so anyway. So, um... Yeah, this was a bit of a sleeper hit, this game. Um, it's actually based in the same series of a game that was out on PS3 and Xbox 360 in 2010, which I never got round to playing, which was called Nia. Um, Story-wise, it's actually got nothing to do with this game, um, unless, well, you say that, but this game has got 26 different endings. Really? That's so, quite a lot then, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are just joke endings or what have you. Yeah. But I think there's about six or seven that are uh, meaningful endings. To change the different endings, do you have to do them quite a way in the game? Or right. do you have to do them from. This is where the game gets interested and interesting, and I really recommend this to everyone. Now, before I go into that, I will say the gameplay itself is um, really hard to describe for this game. It's a third person. Hack and slash. Well, yeah, open world hack and slash RPG game, um, but not quite because it's also a shooter. Um, it, it it switches on the fly to a, um, like shoot 'em up, a bullet hell game. 
Um, wow. It goes to a 2D platformer as you're running along. It will just switch like that. It will go to a, a top-down view analog twin-stick shooter. So it's different. Even even text adventure game um, at some points in it. I mean, it's just a game of game. I've never seen a game change its style so much. It's Is so it like two or three games in one? Then Is more than two or three. It's it's so unique. Um, I've never known any other game to, to do it. Um, as you can see there, like you're running man and you control the gun and you control the, the sword. Um, I think you can see here a bit of the um, different gameplay types in the game. Like you've got your, your shoot em up bit, like your bullet oh, hell. Okay, yeah, see that, yeah. yeah, and then. Um, <laughs> see, see this sort of things, I, I, I wouldn't mind playing this. But side it changes thing. throughout the game, it isn't yeah. just. I know what you mean, like something like this, I'd be quite willing to sit and, and play. And this is where it gets interesting as well. I mean, the f as you play through it for the first campaign, um, you'll play through as a character 2B, which is like the main character. Um, 2B and 9S are the main characters. So the first playthrough, you play through as 2B. And I think a lot of people would probably play through it once and finish it. And, not go and you get a satisfying ending. But if you were to load up again and play through it again you start the game again but this time it's from the perspective of 9S you right, play okay. through as 9S not only do you get to play the entire game from his perspective but the gameplay is different completely it's, it's like different two games into one then, no 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 because then you complete it and you load it up a third time you get an entirely different story to finish it all off you not only play as 2B 9S and you play as another character that you meet in the game. I won't spoil it for anyone. And all three of the characters have got their own unique gameplay mechanics. This is 9S's mechanic. He acts. So instead of going in and being all that like slash, quiet hack and slash, hack and slash he, he mainly hacks enemies. He can take over enemies. So you can hack the ro like the main enemies are robots. Yeah. Um, basically, it's like set on Earth in the in the distant future, um, and yeah, I don't want to say too much about the plot, but I mean the plot's amazing. Um, it's basically set so far in the future that apparently humans have gone to live on the moon, and they've sent androids to fight these robots that aliens have dropped off on Earth to take the planet over. And um, as you play through it, there's a lot more to it. Um, 2B and 9S uh, androids who work for you, your heart, which are the um, the, the last yeah, bastion yeah, of mankind. But I mean, the robots and the androids are so human in it. It's unbelievable, and it makes you feel like there was points when I really Don't didn't want to kill some of the robots, and I'm, right, I'm vicious. Yeah. I'm vicious on yeah. games, yeah. so it really makes you feel this game and it's one of its greatest aspects it pulls at your heart strings it does actually yeah it does and the music that goes with it really helps with that as well yeah yeah i mean it's a complicated and int intricate plot to it. with regards to the controls the controls easy to use there's no much complex or yeah it's, it's yeah it is it's um it's pretty standard fair yeah it's not too oh, okay. bad I can't remember off the top of my head, you know, it's been a while. Yeah, I don't expect obviously every It's been a couple of weeks now since I finished it. Um, we've, but obviously, guys, I've um, had surgery, so that's why we've been a bit behind on our videos and that. So, um, you know, but we're, we're catching up slowly. Yeah, it's slowly so, getting there. Yeah, you know, we've got to take things a bit at a time and do it. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, you know, I mean, there's so much to the game. And uh, I highly recommend it to anyone, you know. Uh, but I will say, it may seem like completing a game three times is a bit much, is a bit much but it's really not because it plays different each time. And I would say that you'd get about... I mean, it took me about 40 hours all in all. Yeah. Three playthroughs. Wow, that's quite, that's quite, well, and I didn't do all the side quests or anything. There's, the, there's a lot of side quests. Just done main missions sort of thing. I did yeah. on the first playthrough as two B. I did a lot of uh, side quests, but not all of but them. But obviously, like for the price, obviously in Argos, uh, fifteen is it fifteen ninety nine? Yeah, so that's for the game of the Yorha edition. Yeah, so um, 
it's, with all the DLC and stuff, so it's, it's quite really good worth value it. to be fair. For, from an in, or I'll say Nintendo game, in Nintendo game, I've got like Nintendo on you. <laughs> Some, someone hit me with a shovel here. <laughs> 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 he hit me in the face with a shovel. Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, but for the price, I think it, it, it's great. To be fair, I should have put two and two together and realised 15 quid it ain't Nintendo, is it? There's, <laughs> no there's, Nintendo tax on that. There's no Nintendo tax. I just thought they might have felt a bit guilty doing it. But uh, yeah, but well, yeah, like I said, it's not a game for me. So I'm going to have to give my final thoughts here. And I'll have to say, um, so me, this game is not a game, really. It's, uh, it's a life. Sounds a bit cliche. It's a life. Nah, it's, it's a work of art, to be honest. It's um, one of them games you look at, and I'll remember for years to come, for the plot, the soundtrack, for the just. You could go back and see so many things in it, and you could go back and look at it and take it in so many different ways. So, I'm I'm going to give it a ten out of ten. This game. Give it a ten out of ten. Wow. Definitely a ten out of ten, and that's for everything. So anyway, guys, if you do get this game, on my recommendation. I recommend that you just play through it. Um, to get the final ending, you're going to have to play through it five times. So. Okay. Just a quick one. Are they looking to bring out another one? Or I've heard that they probably will. I mean, it was a success, so... Well, okay, so that'd be quite interesting. I mean, the final ending, I, I can't say too much. I won't say too well, much. Well, in my opinion, hopefully they bring it out on the Switch. I've said it I hope times. they bring this out on the Switch. I've said it enough times, so yeah, I might as well let you know again. It's true. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Luigi's Mansion 3 next one, guys. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's get in a haunted house. Thanks for watching. See you later. Take care.